Rising or Venus. Maybe you're a cross watcher and you can just switch the roles. That's cool. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification button. And also comment below, let me know this reading resonates. I actually love your comments, guys. Just give me a little comment. Don't forget to hit that like button, okay? It really does help my channel. It helps build my channel. You guys are all helping my channel. Thank you. And I said I just used to my channel like four times. Not cool. Oh, well. All right, Gemini. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's going on. I already saw that four of swords right there. That is your energy. Holy cow, what's going on? I just saw the Justice card. It's another card that represents your energy. Interesting. I just want to see what the context of the situation is right now because I'm nosy. So we got the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. I am going to use these two cards together. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use these two cards together because this is just something that you recently... I think that there was a situation, Gemini, right now that you just had to express yourself. Did you just express your, uh, yourself? Because maybe you were thinking of some type of idea. You just came up with a new idea. Considering this is um, a cups energy, you thought of an idea that um, it felt good, right? But I know that the pages also carry the element of air. <laughs> so not only did it feel good, but you felt right about it. it, it, it that idea, so you thought an, of an idea with this page, it was this type of idea that was logical. It was logical, it was sensible, and you thought about it and you expressed yourself with your emotions, right? But now that the, that you've done that, now there's some type of unknown. There's a little bit of uh, instability right now, right? Because of this five of pentacles, this person is not, It's these are her pentacles, they're still here, okay? They're, her pentacles are still very much there. However, considering it's a number five, to me, that's just a number that she may be experiencing some type of challenges, Gemini. So I guess this could be the context of the situation. Maybe whatever you may have expressed on, you may have expressed yourself or someone may have, have done that. I don't know. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So let's jump into the next one, please. Let me just get the, let me see where you need to focus right now. What is it that you need to focus on right now? <laughs> That's it. I see that number four again, but so what you need to focus on right now is your words, okay? What you're thinking about, your mind. Queens are all about their nurturing always. So not only do see this is double the energy right here. This is this is the same sign, the same thing. These two are the same. Why? Because there are two court. Well, there are three ways. There are court cards. This is an air sign. This also represents air sign. But not only does a queen represent an air sign because it has swords on there. But she also represents the water element, with, meaning she's all about her personal development. She's always um, thinking about nurturing herself, right? Because she's a queen. So she's sensitive. She uses her intuition, her emotions. She feels. She feels and she thinks. So I'm thinking that where what you need to focus on right now, Gemini, is your own element. You know, stop believing whatever you're believing because I think that this belief is just a thought and the more you start to believe it, the more you think about it. And that may not serve you right now, okay? And things are always working out for me. And and you can take it a little easier and know that you're going to turn this over to the universe. And I think that this card is exactly what you need to do and that's the best advice that spirit has for you. This is what you should be focusing on right now, okay? What you should be focusing on is being honest, using your words, being astute with them. Uh, being forthright, maybe being more experienced, exper experienced, experienced. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's what the queen is. Not only does she feel it with the heart, but she thinks it. Okay. So let's see. And I'll use a clarifier in a second. Let me try to do this really quick. So basically, now the outcome's going to be that you're going to be in manifestation mode. You're going to use. You're going to have the skills to be able to do this. So good for you. Considering you got that court card. So now I'm going to get three cards to clarify these bad boys. Let's see what's up. What do we need to know about this page of cups, uh, the context of the situation right now? And the five of pentacles, please. Interesting. Heart chakra. So this heart chakra also came, it was in a Taurus reading too, the earth element. So basically this is just telling me to have more compassion. Have more compassion for yourself. Okay. And that is the context of the situation. That would make a lot of sense 
it would make a lot of sense because I know that the heart chakra, that's just an energy center of yours. Perhaps it's it's become a little bit, you know, imbalanced right now. And all you have to do to refresh your energy is renew, renewal of the growth, you know? Tell yourself that you're abundant in nature because you are. You're nurturing in nature, you know? You're compassionate, you're balanced, okay? You love yourself, you love yourself, you love all, you know? You're all about your unconditional love. That's, and that's just the truth. That's just how it is. It's always going to be like that. So anyway, let's jump into uh, to clarification with this uh, Queen of Swords energy, okay? We're going to clarify what you need to focus on. Yeah, building that strength. Building, this is the Emperor energy. This is an Aries um, energy right here. This is someone who's always regulating and always being an authority. So yeah. That would make a lot of sense. Considering that four, it's time to start planning. It's start to, to start planning, to start being more honest, more uh, continuing to, to build that personal development of yours, okay? And I think that's exactly what you, should be, what you should be focusing on right now at this time, Gemini, okay? It's to start planning, it's to start looking for, a, to, 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 to build a solid foundation for yourself, okay? Now I'm gonna clarify this high priestess card, please. Thank you. Exactly, and this is that new energy. This is that new energy. This is that outcome for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, so there's three energies on here. There's your energy, there's water, and then there's earth. So you let me know, but this is that, this to me is this, it, it's speaking of a new relationship, a new connection, new love, new, uh, just love in your life. All that opportunity. So I would act on it and be open about that, okay? Um, let me get a message from your guides and let's see what they're wanting you to know at this time. And then please comment below, give it a like, let me know how this reading resonated with you. If it did, if it didn't, just give me a little comment, just say, hey, what's up? Alright, let's see what's up. What kind of messages do my Geminis need to know right now? What are they thinking about? How could this help them? Thank you, Spirit. Shape, so they're saying shape shifter. I can't talk right now, dude. So shape shifter, this is talking about, um, um, it's saying to transform and to un unveil your gifts, all right? So, hey, you guys can totally do it. Um, it's all about uh, um, the, uh, Feeling better, because feeling better should be the manifestation that you're reaching for right now, Gemini, okay? And know that you're moving closer to what you want, and you're figuring it out, and it's getting better regardless, okay? <laughs> uh, love and light, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this reading resonates.